In this video, we will show you how to set up an FTP and SFTP server for sharing files with multiple clients and limiting each client to one folder. It is particularly useful if your clients are familiar with FTP or if they use some software or service that requires FTP. With DriveHQ's FTP hosting service, it can be set up in just a few minutes. Based in US, DriveHQ is one of the largest FTP hosting service providers with over 3 million users. To get your FTP server, you just need to sign up for a free business trial on drivehq.com. or order a business subscription. Your FTP server can then be accessed at ftp.drivehq.com. You can upload or download files using any FTP client software such as FileZilla. To share files with multiple clients, for example, client 1 and client 2, there are two options. Option 1. Create two guest subusers and don't allocate storage space to them. Now log in as client1. The default folder is client1's my storage root folder, which is empty. Client1 cannot create folders or files in his root folder because you have not allocated storage space to him. You can create a folder and share it with client1. Client 1 can then access the shared folder in the special virtual folder named Drive HQ Share. You need to do so for each subuser. If you have many subusers, it is time consuming. But there is a much easier way. Click Group Admin, then click Group Options, select Group Members default to Subuser folder in Drive HQ Share and click Save. After you set this option, the system will automatically create a folder for each subuser and share it with full access permission. Click My Storage, 
you can see the new folders in the root folder. The folder names are the same as subuser names. Click Manage Shares, you can see the newly created shares. The share names are also the same as subuser names. A subuser can only access the folder shared with him. Now log in as client1 again. The default folder is set to the new folder shared with client1 in Drive HQ Share. Client1 can upload or download files in this folder. Client1 can access other shared folders by going to the parent folder first. If client2 logs in, the default folder is the new folder shared with client2 and Drive HQ Share. The advantages of option 1 include A. You don't need to allocate storage space to subusers. All users share the group owner's storage space and download bytes. B. The group owner can access all files. C. You can set access levels for shared folders and subusers. Now let's talk about option 2. First, create two guest subusers and allocate some storage space to them. Now client 1 can log into the FTP server. He can create folders and upload or download files in his my storage. Client 2 can do the same. Please note, each user has his own private my storage, so client 2 cannot see files in other accounts and vice versa. This option seems to be easier, but there are a few small issues. 1. You need to allocate storage space to subusers. The amount of storage to allocate is dependent on each subuser's need. 2. You cannot limit folder access permissions because users always have full access to files in their own My Storage. 3. You don't automatically see subusers' files when you log into your own account, but you can log in as a subuser to access his files. You can also use the Group Admin feature, right-click on a subuser and click Log On As. It will log you into the sub-account. You can then access his files using the web browser. If you want to log in as yourself and access files in sub-accounts, you can create folders in sub-accounts and share them with yourself. You can then access the shared folders in your own account. Some FTP software can only access files in the default folder. Using option 1, the default folder is the sub-user folder in Drive HQ Share. Using option 2, it is the My Storage root folder of the sub-user. If you need to use a different default folder, you can set it in the sub-user's account options.
DriveHQ offers a feature-complete FTP and SFTP service. It can meet all your FTP and SFTP needs. Moreover, DriveHQ offers a powerful command-line FTP client that is often used for FTP scripting and automated data transfers. For users who just want to share or transfer files, DriveHQ File Manager works even better than other FTP software. For more info about DriveHQ, please visit drivehq.com and click Features.